Yeah, I got some in my tackle box there. There's yeah, plenty. Just kill that Woo! In the tail again. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's a cute one. Yeah. Hi folks and welcome to Greg's Outdoor Adventures. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today is the middle of February. Not much going on. Hunting season's over with. Just waiting on my Kansas City Chiefs to play the Philadelphia Eagles in the Super Bowl. So I thought I'd work on a video and see what I could put out for you. This one's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to try to be a little bit more informative this time. Missouri's spoonbill snagging season is getting ready to start March 15th and runs through April 30th. So I thought I'd put out a little snagging preview. Wondering what a spoonbill is. I uh, I'd never really gone spoonbill fishing until I was 35 years old in 1997 when a, a good buddy of mine from church asked me if I was interested in going. And I was like, well, what the heck is a spoonbill? I don't even know. But anyway, I went with him, and man, I was hooked from then on. Caught a couple that day, and it was so much fun. Where else can you catch a fish that can get up to 100 pounds besides in the ocean? Spoonbill are a prehistoric shark-like fish with small eyes and no scales. Well, I got my second one. You don't like that one? Oh, we'll try try a different one. You can't catch them with lures or baits because all they do is they filter plankton out of the water is how they grow. So your only option is to snag them. On Table Rock, Truman Lake, and Lake of the Ozarks, the fish have to be 34 inches from the fork of the tail to the eye. The traditional way to catch them is to tie a heavy weight to the end of your line and then tie a couple of big treble hooks a foot or two above that using stiff rods in 80 to 100 pound test line. And you troll along as slow as you can and try to pick them up watching the graph and going through the deepest holes in the lake. The latest trend is to troll for them using downriggers called dipsy divers. Hopefully this year we'll get uh, lucky and, and I can put some footage together for trolling and show you how we do that. We used to use a gaff to uh, handle our, our fish, but when you do that you're running the risk of injuring a fish that you're going to have to release because it's under the 34 inch limit. Red came up with a deal with a PVC pipe and a plastic coated cable a few years back and that seems to be the best way to lasso them and hang on to them until you can get them tied to the edge of the boat. Another little tip from old Greg, when you're tying your fish to the side of the boat, always tie your head of the fish towards the front of the boat. Just trust me on that. It doesn't work out so good when you tie them backwards. It sure is exciting when you finally hook into one of them things and you better hang on to your rod because sometimes they, they pull really hard. They can pull you out of the boat almost if you're not careful. But on the other hand, sometimes they don't fight hardly at all. They're just like pulling up a waterlogged log off the bottom of the lake. Yeah. Don't lose him. Don't get in the water. This one here almost pulled you. red out of the boat. Let me hang on to you. Sometimes they don't start fighting until you almost get them to the boat, but boy, when they realize they're, they're hooked, they can take off and really pull hard. Boy, it's exhilarating sometimes.
got enough line. All the footage in this video is over the 2019 season, multiple trips. The legal limit you can keep is two fish per day, and as soon as you catch your second legal fish, you have to stop Dang. fishing immediately. And all you can do from then on is drive the boat and help out in any other way you can with the other fishermen.
here's a good look at the treble hooks we use. Thank you for watching folks, I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed that. Hope it was informative for you too this time. I'm thinking about putting together a video of how to clean one of these fish and also have put together some cooking videos on this. If you're interested in either one of those, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll take that into consideration this year. Here at the end of the video, I thought I'd just include some uh, better fish that I've caught over the years. Until next time, take care of yourself, folks. And one last thing. Go Chiefs!